Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Skada. In today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this sound inside Faceplant. Yep, I really hope you like it, so let's start. First of all, open face plan, okay? My first thing I want you to do, create a group and after that open an analog oscillator and an output. And after that also open a wavetable. In the analog choose sine wave and set the harmonic to 0.666. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, also, uh, go to the wavetable, set the harmonic to 0, 0420, and after that, set shift at minus 34.8. Okay, and also set the frame at 173, choosing vocal shifted. It's uh, it's a wavetable on the folder vocals, okay? You probably should have it. After that, um, let's create our atoms here. I want you to make one, two, two atoms and one envelope. Uh, actually, no, we ain't gonna use the envelope, forget it. Three atoms, okay? Three atoms. Set the first atom on 2.93 Hz jitter and smooth and chaos all the way up the second random 1.63 hertz and the settings as you see here and the third random at 3.28 hertz okay and jitter is gonna be at 84 percent and smooth at 85 percent once you do that now we have to set our atoms here so go to the shift oh. first we're gonna do some FM synthesis from the wavetable to the analog okay first the anal it's gonna be the analog phase the phase right here click on the plus button and set it at 10 percent and then the analog frequency at 26 percent okay after that, um, let's see, go to the first random, click the plus button and set the frame at 8%. Also, now go to the second random and take, click the plus button and set the face offset right here at 23%. Okay, now let's go to the effects section. Open a free band EQ set the low at minus 9 dB don't touch the mid, doesn't matter and set the, the high frequency at minus uh, 7.30 okay open a slice EQ click the pencil right here we have a couple things to do first create a bell EQ right here at minus 5 Cut off at 976 and Q at 1.5. I'm gonna give you the automations, don't worry. And after that, open a cut right here. This is it. Cut off at 35 Hz and Q at 0 0.71. Once you do that, you're gonna have to take, um, let's see. Click the plus button on the first random and set the cutoff here at 26%. And also for the first random again, the second cutoff here at minus 18%. Open distortion, drive at 11, almost 12 dB, dynamics all the way up, 94%, spread 20% and bias zero. Mix all the way up. Once you do that, second lane, a, open a comb filter, almost 300 Hz, 
Polarity plus, stereo off, mix all the way up. After that, open a saturator, drive 52%, fuzz at 35%, Color at 257 Hz with automation from the third radon, as you see. Automation 19% and mix all the way up 100%. Don't touch the stereo turbo. After that, we're gonna open a slice EQ again. Click on the pencil. This time we don't have any auto automations, but the first thing you have to do is the pick right here. Open a bell EQ and set gain at 2 dB, cut off at 100 Hz, and Q at 1. The second pick is gonna be, yeah, the notch right here. Cut off almost 500 Hz, gain minus 20, minus 19, minus 20, whatever you like. And the third cut is gonna be uh this right here cut okay this is it click this button right here set it at 7.42 kilohertz and q at 1.1 almost one and this is for the slice eq after that we don't have to do anything else i explained all the radoms right here after that, all I want you to do actually is open an OTT. If you have an OTT from Ableton, good. If you don't have, use a third party. And this is without OTT. And this is with OTT. Yeah, it makes it much more crispy. So guys, that was the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Yeah, see you next time.